Hey friends, this is the most epic Elenium tutorial ever. Elenium's real name is Nick Miller and he started to create electronic music back in 2008. One of his key moments were in 2012 as he was on the Red Rocks Festival and he was listening to Bass Nectar. He bought Ableton the next day and the rest is history. Before he become seriously famous he used to work as a sushi delivery man. He worked in a frozen yogurt store and he also used to work as a random guy in the office answering phone calls. Our boy Lenium was getting noticed in the EDM world with his absolutely insane production called So Wrong. This was actually the first track I listened from him and I was blown away seriously. After this track he produced a couple of remixed in his signature Elenium style, and these remixes becoming seriously viral. And these exact style I will show you today. If you know Elenium you know that the most iconic thing in his tracks back then were his very strong chords. So I show you first how I recreate these Elenium style chords. Elenium is a very big Silinth 1 user. So for the chords we use a bunch of Silinth 1 layers like this. Make sure that you combine different sounding presets. Some of them have to be very wide and detuned and some of them have to play more in the middle. I put the chords into one channel and EQ'd them like this. I compressed them with the OTT. Then I gave them some distortion with the decapitator and the overdrive. For the side chain effect I made this volume automation. And altogether the chords sounding like this. just beautiful. Now I show you the bass line. I combined the bass line out of 9 mid basses and 1 sub bass. Individually they sound like this. I processed the mid basses like this, boosted the 190 Hz area with the R bass and compressed them with the OTT. For the sub bass I boosted some lows and done. The side chain is the same as with the chords. Then I thought the drop needs more boost in the mid frequency area, so I added a few pianos and compressed them with the OTT. Then I added a few whistle sounds, because I thought the drop needs more air. Then guys I added the airy pluck melody that plays in the background the whole time. Therefore I used the pluck one of my future bass preset pack. Make sure to give it some reverb and some distortion. I echoed it like this. And I used the pan man so it pans from left to right. Together with the whistle sound you have these nice airy background vibe. Then I played the signature Elenium guitar riff and processed that a bit with the OTT, overdrive and reverb. I almost forget to show you the side chain. Then I added some guitar ambient sounds from my future bass sample pack. To create a similar sound to the signature Elenium vocal chop, I took a vocal chop from the Kashmir packs and created these melody with a little pitch automation. I echoed it like this, gave it some chorus, heavy distortion, more distortion, compression, reverb and the enhancer to make it more wide. And some crowd noise for a bit wider feeling. Now I show you the epic drum loop, for the kick I layered two kicks. Then I layered a bunch of snares. And two crashes. And this is how the drum loop sounds together.
For the drum fill we took a sample of the original vocal and we distorting the crap out of it. Then we make a white noise riser in Silenth 1 and we drag in a sub drop and done. So friends we are ready with the drop. Now I show you how I recreated the whole verse and build up. So as you know the track has a really strong vocal. This is basically the foundation of the song. Crashing, hit a wall. Right now, I need a miracle. A very important thing is the Elenium style guitar riff that I showed you before. It is playing also in the verse and in the build up but without the side chain. I supported the recorded guitar with the ugly Vista guitar to make it a bit stronger. I added a nice bass underneath. In the verse I added a little pluck sound thought support the guitar riff. This right here guys is a nice trick that gives your tracks a nice background air feeling. Just make white noise in Silenth 1 and throw a bunch of reverb onto it. It will fill up your sound instantly and makes it less dry. Then I added the airy pluck melody that I showed you before in the drop. Then guys I made a nice drum loop. Make sure to high cut the snares in the beginning. Elenium does this very often. And make sure to use reversed kick that slips into your kick on some points. And the maybe most important thing in the build-up is the orchestral ensemble that starts playing. It gives the track a very emotional and uplifting feel and it creates tension. Then I created this little orchestral drum loop. And to give the build up more depth I added some nice piano chords. And then guys you have to add a few build up drums and a little drum fill before the drop and you are done with the track. Oh I almost forget these little tonal riser. And guys we are ready with the whole song. Before we listen to it together I have to tell you that you can download the sick FLP for free with all the used presets and samples from my future bass preset pack. And make sure to check out the full pack because it has amazing future bass presets. 100 Silenth 1 presets, 100 Serum presets and 100 Spire presets. Now lean back and enjoy the Elenium remake.
Guys, thanks for watching. I love you.